Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Today we are going to use the built-in shortcuts app to customize our iOS apps. If you want to see a super condensed YouTube short on it, I will link it down below. Um, other than that, there are three pretty cool ways that you can customize your iOS apps, whether it's on your phone or your iPad. Let's get started. We're going to go ahead and swipe down to search for this app. I'm going to pretend it's not suggesting it, so we're just going to type in shortcuts and it pops up so we're going to open that and it should open either on this page or like this where we can add it but we're not going to worry about that right now we're going to close the app for now i'm going to close it just leave it to the side there and i'm going to go ahead and open safari and we have our handy dandy google so when we're in google we're gonna go ahead and start looking for our icons. So I'm gonna start off, let's say a Safari icon. So I'm gonna look for a cute or aesthetic Safari icon. I think Google's listening. So they have a bunch of cute ones here. Just choose whichever one you like and save the picture by long pressing and adding to photos. So add to photos, let's just close it and then open this one. If it's not suggesting it on the bottom, then you should have it open anyways. So we'll just do that. And then we're going to tap on the plus and it should be roughly the same whether you're on the phone or the iPad. So first we're gonna name our shortcut. Once we make that, let's name this one um, Safari. You can literally name it whatever you want. Um, Let's put done and then in this side put open app so tap that and then right here it'll say open app this is going to be kind of grayed out because you haven't assigned anything so we're going to tap it and then we will put the app that we want in this case safari and then over here on the top we're going to share it we want to add it to our home screen so we're gonna add, and then here you can see we have this little glyph. We can customize it, but we don't wanna do a custom glyph right now. So we're just gonna tap it and choose a photo. And here we have our Safari icon. I'll zoom in a little bit and use that. And then add to the home screen. Now, once we close this, we have Safari right here. We tap it and it works just like your Safari. It is going to have that little pop up. It's kind of annoying, but it's so cute. So it's worth it. Anyways, we're just going to go ahead and edit our home screen and take Safari to the page where we want it. And that's how you get started on these apps. Another way to do it is also in the shortcuts app. Just tap the plus icon like you did at first, open app, select the app you want to open. Let's say I want one for Amazon. Up here where you name the shortcut, Amazon, right? There's a little glyph. You're gonna tap on it and then you can select the color if you want it to look like, you know, a little glyph that you made that's not necessarily a photo they have a bunch of pictures to choose from you can essentially create an app that looks like you know the apps that come with apple okay there you go we would just share it the same way this little square and then add to home screen And then we'll just edit the home screen like before. So let's say that you made an extra one or you want to change one or just delete it and go back to the regular app. Then you would just long press and delete. Long press, delete bookmark, delete. So we went over pictures. We went over the ones that shall not be mentioned. And now there is another option so let's say you're in Safari and none of these are ringing a bell for you. 
So let's say you want to make your own picture or logo. You can use an app like Canva or you can make your own drawing in Procreate. I went ahead and drew a random blue Pikachu and then once I was done drawing it, you can just save the picture to your photo album and repeat the process that we used for the custom pictures. So I'm just going to do that really quick. Look for the app and then add a shortcut, open app, tap right here to assign Netflix. So we're going to name it Netflix just so we don't forget and then we're going to close that and we're going to tap on the share button again, add to home screen, tap on the little glyph and choose our picture. And now my Netflix icon is a blue Pokemon. So we're going to add that to our home screen and you see we have our second Netflix. We have the original app here and the one we made down here. Let's say we want to remove the app. We will just remove the original. Don't delete it. Just remove it from home screen so Apple can put it into the forgotten abyss. We have our Pikachu. We're just going to go ahead and edit our home screen and drag it over here. And voila. So once we're done, it should look something like... So once we're done, we can just go ahead and close out these apps by editing the home screen and just closing them out. And this is a bookmark, so I couldn't really replace it, but basically that's how it could look. Um, they'll work just like a regular app. If you tap on them, you'll be able to open your apps. You'll get the little shortcut prompt, and then you can just use your apps as usual. Um, on the iPad, they will show up here. On the iPhone, it's not really um, as noticeable, but you can just long press these when you're done to go back to your little aesthetic vibes. So yeah, thank you guys so much for joining me. I know it was kind of a longer tutorial, but I wanted to cover all of the Sorry, I just did my nails. Um, <laughs> I wanted to cover all of the um, possibilities that I have explored with, with the shortcuts apps, whether it's the icons or the custom pictures or even a picture that you drew yourself. Um, obviously, drawing the picture yourself, you could definitely make icons kind of like these that are just like minimalistic, but, but thank you guys so much for your support as always. I hope you have a beautiful day, take care, stay safe, and see you next time.